everybody, I have my Arcade 1UP Pac-Man Deluxe here, and I'm about to put it together. Now, in my last video that I did for the Mortal Kombat Deluxe review, Thomas Grillo commented that he would have liked to have seen me put that cabinet together. So I'm going to be putting this one together on video. Uh, I'll be recording different steps along the way as I put it together. Hope you enjoy. If you do not want to watch me put it together, I will be recording a separate video for the review of this cabinet. So you, you are welcome to skip this one and go to that one. Uh, but if you do like these videos, please give it a like. I am close to 100 subscribers. I believe I just need nine more. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe if you like the content um, and share with your friends. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and get everything out of the box. All right, I've just opened up the box. Here is what the inside of the box looks like when you first open it up. And we are going to get everything out and we will have it all laid out so you can see what all is inside. All right, we have gotten all of the parts out of the box. Some of them are covered up if you don't see everything here. Um, now, one of the interesting things with these deluxe cabinets, I will mention, uh, and you can see here that these panels here for the side aren't the full panels like you would get with the three quarter, the normal three quarter scale ones. These are these are still three quarter scale, but they come in two parts because you do put the two halves together in a much different manner since they are riserless. All right, so I'm going to get the instructions and go ahead and start assembling. So as I'm getting started here, I just want to point this out. This is very different uh, than any of the other cabs. This is even different than the Mortal Kombat uh, Deluxe that I just got. So uh, this plug here, um, you can see uh, there's instructions for it here to actually uh, take this um, and put it onto our uh, plug here. So um, this just slides right in. Sorry, let me get a better shot of that. I guess we just slide it in like that, but I did not have to do that with the Mortal Kombat Deluxe, so that is new um, to me. I don't know if any other cabinets are like this, the Class of 81 Deluxe might be like this as well, so this is a similar design. I just thought that was interesting because um, none of my other cabinets are like that. I also do want to mention um, the plugs here for the Deluxe cabinet so far have all been bigger than any of the plugs I've had for any of my other Arcade 1UP cabinets. So just be aware of that if you're going to have multiple Deluxe cabinets uh, plugged into the same uh, power strip um, or surge protector. Uh, that you are going to have to space them out um, or just use different um, surge protectors for each one. All right, uh, but that's connected and we will move on to putting this together. And it looks like our first step is putting in a lot of these uh, little rods. All right, that is finished. All right, it looks like for the next part, we're going to be going into putting together the bottom half of the cabinet. All right, it's coming together. Okay, this is really important information. The next step is putting the coin door on. Um, we are actually going to insert that piece with the coin door before uh, we put this other side on. Um, and if you put the other side on first, then it's going to give you issues. Uh, because of this piece right here. <laughs> uh, you won't be able to slide that on with the coin door on it. So make sure that you follow the instructions and you do the coin door section first. Now, thankfully, I never had this issue come up, but I did read about somebody else who had this issue come up. They were really used to putting the cabinets together, so I can't blame them. Uh, but just make sure that you are kind of checking the instructions, even if you're used to this. Uh, because something may come up that um, throws a wrench in there. So just make sure you look at that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to move on and put on this coin door. Um, I know I'm not really reviewing yet. I love the coin doors. Uh, they look great on the cabinets. I just wish that they included these being lit 
uh, which is something that I might work on later on down the line. All right, the bottom half is done. I do want to mention that I only have four of the screws in the uh, coin door. I don't know what the issue was, but the screws in the middle here, I could not get all the way in. I don't know if the holes weren't drilled properly uh, that are in the coin door on the other side. It's the only coin door I've ever, ever had an issue with. Um, and it's the same one that's on the MK2 Deluxe as far as I know. So it's just probably just a defect that was with this particular coin door. Um, but I was able to get the other four in. I think it's going to hold just fine. That's not going to be an issue. I did just want to point that out. Um, but this looks really great. I can't wait to get the whole thing together. Let's continue. All right, next up, it looks like we're going to start working on the top of the unit as well as uh, getting the screen prepared. All right, this step is done. And this step is done. So next we are going to be putting the monitor in. This will be a new step for me because I have not dealt with the recessed screen before. So we'll see how this goes. Guys, before you install a screen on any Arcade 1UP, I always recommend that you loosen all of these screws here around the bezel. And then go ahead and at least pull the film up to get it completely off from around those screws. Uh, then that way when you do have it all together and you peel the rest of the film off, it won't leave any residue stuck underneath any of the screws there. Oh, and do make sure you tighten those screws back down before you continue on and install the screen. All right, now we're putting a lot more pieces together here with the speakers and the light box here. All right, so let's get it done. Doesn't look like we have too many more steps left. All right, I think this next step is going to be one of the last steps until we put the other side on, and then we'll slide these together. Now, the Mortal Kombat was my first marquee like this one, um, and this marquee is two completely separate pieces. Uh, the light comes from here. Uh, you'll see is, for example, my Star Wars here. I hope this is showing right, but this whole thing here. This whole box is where the light is from. Um, and so the marquee on this, for example, is just attached to the light box itself. Um, but this is two separate pieces. Uh, these tend to look better, uh, at least from what I've seen so far with the Mortal Kombat one. All right, let's get this other side on. All right, so in this next step, we're going to slide the two halves of the cabinet together. All right, well now it looks like a Pac-Man cabinet. We still have to finish up putting some screws in uh, to secure the screen. Uh, we have to put on the back. We have to hook all the wires up. Uh, so we'll get to that in just a moment. But I got to say, this is a very, very pretty cabinet. I just want to point out that my least favorite step of every Arcade 1UP build is putting the screws in here on the uh, for the screen. Uh, it was especially difficult doing it on uh, this cabinet with the screen slanted like this. Um, however, I did get it done. <laughs> so everything's put together except for all of our wires, so we're going to get that done, uh, get the back put on, and uh, we'll turn it on. All right, it is complete, and it works perfect. It looks great. I haven't really played any games on here yet, but I will dive into those in the next video. So hope you enjoyed this, and uh, if you did, just give it a like. 
And if you didn't like it, give it a dislike. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll have that review up in the next couple of days. Thank you for watching.